Jaybird Tech Videos presents something different. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am, together we cry. I drive on the streets. Get this party started. It's finger looking good. <laughs> oh man. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Original recipe. Mm. It's hot. Maybe wash it down. Good. I gotta have some more. Oh, that chicken's good. Mm, I just chicken. You know, chicken. It tastes just like chicken. I had to get my own honey. Those Kentucky Fried Chicken be stingy with the honey. You know? Mm. Mm. What? It's a movie night. It's a ride night. Mm. I should have brought some of the food. Like that food, where's for Shabbat? What is this? Oh no. It's a computer. Movie night turned into benchmark night. What? Is that a transformer? I need to clean this all up. This is a mess. Pause the Put it all on hold. The B1 Plus Mini is a sub $100 computer that can be purchased on Amazon and can also sometimes, rarely, but possibly be found in a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket. Also, there's something funny going on with this Transformers icon. Let's power this thing on, shall we? It's not the fastest chicken in the KFC box, is it? 
Maybe if we cut its head off, it'll run faster. We will find out, won't we? Alright, is this thing actually working? That kind of looks like it might be. Kind of looks like it might be. Okay, so here we're looking at the Intel Celeron N3350. And it is the 14 nanometer process. Oof, this thing is not very fast. I don't think it's dual channel memory, and it's definitely not benchmarking faster than the E8500. Ooh, not good. I will not be gentle. I will not be nice. Let's see what secrets this thing holds. Well, first off, this is um, a plate of some sort. Let's see if we can get a gooder shot of this guy. You see the inside of the board here, Wi-Fi here. There is like a little antenna here. You can't really see it coming out to a piece of metal. But the real question is what's underneath this metal board here, huh? See that is a heat sink. And this is what we're looking at. That's for sure. Tiny amount. The question is, can I run this off of 12 volts like a car battery? What's this? Oh, the perfect place to find out. First off, I'm sorry if I break your computer, okay? I'm sorry. What we have here is a uh, fully charged um, setup here. And here's the cable with the red going to the red, the black going to the black, and the port here going into the back of the computer. So we're not even going to do anything other than just plug this puppy right in. So, come on, this is going to be impossible to do without editing. I don't want to edit because I want it to look like, you know, you realize, yeah, for sure he didn't trick you. He is doing this right. With one hand, with one hand, he plugs it in. It's still all there. Okay, got a keyboard and mouse we need to plug in. All right, let's go. All right, here, yes. Keyboard and a mouse. Keyboard and a mouse and a monitor. And, ooh, it's dirty now because I made it dirty. Yay. Now this little light should turn on. It's going to be powered off of a battery, nothing more. Okay. There's just nothing up my sleeve. Ooh, let's go. Turns right on. Now, just because it turned on doesn't mean much, I guess. Let's actually see if it's doing anything. Oh, no way. So, I mean, it really is only using 10 or 15 watts anyway. I 
still have Ubuntu on it. Very much so. I'm going to install Windows back onto it because Ubuntu doesn't run as well as I would have hoped. But, um, this would be a good idea of how long it takes to boot with Ubuntu. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's running off of a battery. So is the monitor. The monitor and the computer are both running off of these batteries that are being charged by these solar panels. And, um, I, would I recommend this computer as a gaming computer? No. Would I recommend it as a computer for work or productivity for a user to use as a daily driver? No. Would I recommend it to be like a kiosk machine? Yeah, it could be, but why wouldn't you just use a Pi? Um, now, where I may recommend this machine over a Pi is in like an RV situation where you have 12 volts, you don't want to use a lot of power, you're doing the tiny home living thing, and you just want a computer here is that, you know, it has been running for very long, and it's actually still really high up in terms of energy, but... You know, while this BMAX is taking 15 watts max, uh, the monitor's a different story. This okay, so this thing runs like a potato. It's not worth $100, and I'd probably spend a little bit extra money to get something that's worth the money.